So in a lot of problems, uh, the idea is to simplify before you evaluate or before you find the answer. The, the goal is to have you step back and think strategically about the problem you're about to solve and not just go through it left to right, but think about each step. So here, um, this is a good example because, first of all, we have, we have this set of parentheses here, right? And what it's saying is you have 1 over 1,000, right? Then times 1 over 999. Then times 1 over 998 and so forth, dot, dot, dot. That means continue this pattern where you're always taking one over one less than the denominator before. So it's 997 and so forth, 996, all the way down to you reach, you know, one over two and then one over one. Well, that would be incredibly difficult to compute, right? That's really one over a thousand factorial, which just means, you know, a thousand factorial. That just means a uh, thousand times 999, and so forth, all the way down to 1. So this is kind of like this, this 1 over 1,000 factorial, right, in a sense, because you're just multiplying all these denominators. And that's a huge number. It's not even worth computing, right? In fact, I don't even know how long it would take you to compute that, although we could estimate it. It took a very long time. I don't think you'd be able to figure it out in your lifetime. Um, you probably have to take quite a few breaks. Anyway. So here, 1 over 1,000 factorial times what? Well, this is just what? We're kind of reversing the order, 1 times 2 times 3, all the way up to 1,000, but that's the same thing as 1,000 factorial, but in the reverse order. We commuted all the numbers. We switched the order. It's still the same thing. So what are you going to get if you have 1,000 factorial times 1 over 1,000 factorial? What is that? Well, if you're not sure, think of a simpler example. What if you take 1 half of 2? What's that? Well, one half of two is just one. What about one third of three? Well, that's just one as well. What if I took one fourth of four? Well, that's just one as well. And what's happening here? One over something, let's say x times x, if we follow this pattern, we're still gonna get one. Anything times one over that thing is one. This is uh, basically taking a number and it's reciprocal and you're getting one. So here, we've got the answer is one. Now, you, you would have never realized that if you were stuck just going left to right using only PEMDAS, but remember to use the commutative and associative properties to your advantage. Thanks.